What is up everybody? It's your man Zay, Mr. Muscles, and I'm back again with another good exercise for you today. Well, again, like I always start off, I want to start off by thanking my subscribers. I can't forget about y'all. I appreciate it. I appreciate the love. I appreciate the comments. I appreciate the support coming from each and every one of you. As I mentioned before, spread the word. Tell your friends, tell your coworkers, tell your family, or any kids. They're not kids, but teenagers that's uh, getting into working out, no matter if it's for sports, no matter if it's just for health in general, or just to get a little bigger, lose a little weight, whatever their uh, forte is, just spread the word for you, boy. But again, today we're going to attack the back. We're going to do a little bit of back exercises today. So uh, if you're not used to doing back, time to get used to it. <laughs> but I got a few good exercises for the back today that I'm going to de demonstrate for y'all. And y'all can also incorporate that into your uh, daily routine as well. Again, if you do these correctly and you do the adequate amount of them for uh, your particular body, then you're going to get outstanding results. You're going to feel it. You're going to feel the burn. And you're going to get exactly what you want out of it. So again, without further ado, I'm going to start off first and foremost with the back flies. And what that is, I mean, you can use different things. It don't matter if you want to use a chair. If you, It don't matter if you got a, a actual bench like I got. One of the ones that's adjustable, not just the flat ones. You can use the flat one, but it's going to be a little uh, slightly different from the adjustable one. So where it can, you can have that incline for that uh, maximum extension of the arms. But I'm going to demonstrate that for you real quick. I got a few weights sitting right here by my bench. And I've got the bench facing the opposite direction since it's back. So that way you can see exactly uh, what needs to be done. So you're gonna have the weights. If you have weights, if you have weights for this, you're gonna have the weights sitting already on the floor in a ready position. So you can just uh, get on the bench and start. So I'm gonna demonstrate for you. Let me get the correct weight. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna get opposite. You're gonna get opposite on the bench. And you're gonna have your weights down in front of your feet. So once you're in that position, you're gonna lean forward on the bench itself at this incline. And you gotta pick up the weight. Make sure you get the adequate amount of weight that's good enough for you. You gotta touch them slightly in front of you. I'm gonna demonstrate it the other way as well so you can see, but you gotta touch them in front of you and go up like you're flying. One, two, three, if you can, add that one second hold that I always like to recommend. One. Two, three. As such, when you go down, I want you to touch them together before you do that extra set for a rep. You're gonna turn, turn the bench around, so therefore you can see it in front of you. Hopefully it's a good angle for you. Now what you're gonna do, is mount the bench. You have your weights down at the floor. You pick them up. Now, like I say, because there's a pole in the way, so you're gonna put them out in front like this. Keep them touched together. While they're there, go up. One, touch. Up, down, two, up, down, three. And if you wanna add that hole, up, down. Up, down, like that. And you're gonna do a good set of anywhere from 10 to 12, you know, the typical 10, 12, 15 amount of uh, reps to get something out of it. If you add that one second hold, it may decrease the amount of reps you're gonna do, but it's gonna build that muscle faster. So therefore, what begins to be hard is gonna eventually start getting easier. Then you just increase the, the amount of reps uh, as you continue to work out. The second exercise I'm going to give you today is something everybody should already be familiar with and that is your typical pull-up. Now pull-ups or uh, 
extremely good workout. Not everybody can do pull-ups, but if you can get to start doing pull-ups, that's a good uh, individual accomplishment. It's outstanding because a lot of, again, a lot of people cannot do pull-ups and it's hard for you to even do one, two, you know, it don't matter what the amount is, it's hard for a lot of people. So if you're able to just do five, you know, a couple, that's, that's short-term goals. So, but the idea today is, uh, like I say, your typical pull-up, you got different variations of a pull-up as well. I'm gonna aim you over there. I'm gonna use this, this pull-up bar for today. Um, aim you over here. And basically, this one is a little closer uh, grip, so it's not gonna be as wide. But again, I'm just gonna show you a few uh, variations of just the normal reps, and then I'm gonna show you what I want with that one second pause that I always mention. Because you know I love the one second pause, I love the resistance. So, let's get it. Okay, with this one, again, and this is a pull-up. These are pull-ups, so keep your hands facing this way. What you're gonna do, you can keep your legs straight down. You can curl them at the bottom like, like such. Would you cross your ankles in the back with your feet curled up? I'm gonna demonstrate a good two for you. One. Two. It's ideal for you to let your arms go all the way back down so you can come all the way back up. And that's gonna give you Oh, excuse that. That's gonna give you more of a uh, exercise by doing that. I apologize for that. I guess everybody got a group. But uh, again, let me demonstrate it with the hold. Up, one second hold. Second hold down, and those are going to be the pull ups that I want you to incorporate into your routine. With those, do as many as you can. I can't put a set number on that because I don't know each individual person's capability. So, with that being said, just baby step it. Do as many if you can only do one, keep doing sets of one. We just if you're doing one, put that uh, one second hold in it. If you're doing anything under five, put that one second hold in it. So just hold it, one, come back down, extend it all the way, come back up, and you'll get it, you'll get it, and you'll be in the ball game. Now, last but not least, I'm gonna give you is basically there's multiple different names for this as well. I'm not even gonna put a name on it, just in case you know a different name for it. But I'm gonna demonstrate it for you. So it's basically a push-up, but at the same time, on the ending portion of that push-up, you're gonna pull up. So with that being said, let me demonstrate a couple for you. What you're gonna do, if you have dumbbells or any items you can use to do so, you can make this work. So you're gonna do your standard push-up, down, up, pull up, down. Down, up, pull up, down. And the key is to alternate arms. Alternate arms so you can get both of them the same workout without just repeating on one. Of course you can repeat on one, but make sure you do the same amount on the opposite arm. I'm gonna demonstrate it from the side view so you can see. Make sure your body is off the ground. Make sure you have the correct form, your body is straight. You go down, up, lean to that opposite side to pull up. Down, up, lean to the opposite side to pull up. Now I'm gonna do them in a faster motion. Ah, one, ah, two, ah, three, ah, four. And you can use uh, as much weight as you deem necessary. If it starts to get too easy, Increase the weight, so therefore you got more retention on your pulls. Now, also, a last thing I'm gonna add, if you cannot just do your standard push-up, these work with the assisted push-up that I showed you on previous videos. You can still 
Cross your legs, get on your knees, down, up. You can still do it, but this pull is gonna be at an angle instead of instead of uh, the flat. It's gonna be on an angle instead of your flat uh, motion. So uh, again, I hope y'all enjoyed this uh, workout today. Again, do not forget, click subscribe on the bottom right of the video. Please uh, share this. Let everybody get some of these workouts so they can get in the, the good uh, shape that they want to be in. Like the, like, the, uh, like the video, share it, make sure the notifications is turned on so that you can get updates every time I update with new videos. Again, lastly, before I... Uh, and just again comment comment the positives comment the negatives comment your progress if you're not getting progress comment that as well so i can help you so you can start getting progress again sorry i apologize about the the bloopers today you know i had a little few malfunctions but we're going to keep pushing not going to let that stop me we're going to get it right again before uh i let y'all go just click subscribe at the bottom right and you know I'm coming back with more. You know I'll be back to help y'all. It's all about y'all. It's your man Zay, Mr. Muscle, and I'm out. <laughs>